welcome back to Newsmax. Now, I think we've established the phone connection with Michael Reagan, political commentator and son of President Ronald Reagan. Michael, do we have you? Hey, yeah, you got me. All right, great to talk to you. Now, we talked about this back in September when I was there at the Reagan Library about Donald Trump. But the nomination of Donald Trump as the GOP's presidential candidate seems a lot closer to being a real thing right now. What will happen to the party uh, that for so long has been defined by the legacy of President Reagan if that does happen? Well, I will tell you, and by the way, I'm sorry that we misconnected. I was okay, coming down happens. off the ranch. I was coming from the ranch down the mountain. But I will tell you, and I tweeted this this morning. I said the Republican Party nominates Donald Trump for the presidency of the United States. I said, I don't want to hear from my father's grave I didn't leave the party. The party left me. Wow. Because I, because I believe my father would be absolutely appalled. I know he'd be appalled by the way this campaign is going with Donald Trump demeaning everybody that he comes in contact with. When you're just talking to him about policy, he comes back with these personal attacks. doesn't matter who it's against. The things he's saying about Megyn Kelly, the things he says about any one of those they're in the debate swimming. But I got to tell you, I think the debate last night was the best debate yet because he wasn't there. So you actually got to hear what the what the combatants, you might say, wanted you to hear and hear it without the filter of Donald Trump. All right, Michael, I want to talk about your article in the New, uh, New Hampshire Union Leader today. And you write, for the most of his life, Donald Trump has been a Democrat backing strong gun control and abortion rights. Today he is for the Second Amendment and for pro-life. But as most of us know, Ronald Reagan also made a conversion. In this article, you talk about the main reason why there is a difference between the conversion your father made and the difference between the conversion Donald Trump made. Explain that for yeah. us real quickly. Well, I'll tell you, I think Donald Trump is making his conversion because he's running for the nomination of the Republican Party and trying to reach out to conservatives and have them believe that he is a conservative. Ronald Reagan, this, this wasn't something that happened overnight with Ronald Reagan. This was something that was in place and in motion over many, 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 many years uh, where he came to the, his determination to be a conservative, to be a Republican, whatever else you want to call it. And, you know, and Donald Trump, you know, I, I get so tired of people coming to me saying, he reminds me of your father, and I just go, how? I mean, Donald Trump never supported Ronald Reagan. He supported Mondale. He supported Carter. Those are the people he supported against the nomination and election. Of, of Ronald Reagan. And if you look at his, you know, look at what he has said and you look at what he has done over the years, it has nothing to do with conservatism and everything to do with liberalism. And so if conservatives are going to buy into this election because they think he's conservative, boy, are they going to be in for a surprise? He'll make Obama look like Ronald Reagan. Well, time will tell. Michael will know if the conversion is real or not. If he does get elected it, it, based on his policies, uh, the article is at the U, uh, New Hampshire Union Leader. You can find it online right now. I'm sure you hope a lot of the voters in New Hampshire take a, a look at that, and even voters in Iowa as well. Michael, as always, great to talk with you. We'll have to have you back soon. we got more time. You got it. Thank you. Thank